God, look, I may never be able to forgive you for only tangentially knowing my mother. <laughs> never even becoming close friends, the kind of friends where you're just, you're so close that it's like you could finish each other's sentences, you know each other's secrets, and then one day you wake up and you realize you you're not the man you thought you were. I was, I was. I was trying to finish. I had. I was going to finish there. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I was going to finish. No, it's before. kind of. It's kind of done. No, I wasn't saying me and you. I was saying my mom and you. No. You could have been friends like that, and then one day you wake up, and you realize you're in love. Yada yada yada. I'm bored. But no. That's not the way it works. It works in life, yeah. I had to be saddled with that stuck-up rich guy, <laughs> Rockefeller. Do you know what it's like to be born into privilege? To have your every want catered to? It's hell! Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't give you this stinking, filthy bar that I could barely pay for and was evicted twice from. That's right. Well, I own the mortgage of it now. <laughs> Way to go, Rockefeller boy! That stings, Ted. That stings. Stings? All the way down to your carefully braided nostril hair? <laughs> I never understood why you did that. I have pride in my appearance. Uh, uh, These are glorious. I'm sorry to keep bringing it up. Dude, look how they float when I talk in the free. It looks like you have a booger. <laughs> Always. Oh, because boogers are brown, made of hair, and six inches long. <laughs> that doesn't make much Sometimes, sense. Sometimes, yeah, when you work in a bar, you see a lot of stuff. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I can smell it from here. <laughs> 